Michigan taking on Syracuse in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. And Wolverine, Nas Hillman, joins me now to talk about the start of this season. Nas, off to a 6-1 and one start. How do you evaluate how the beginning's going? Uh, I think we're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, we're very young in terms of our experience, so we're really trying to lock in and pick up the little things as we go on throughout the season. But I'm really proud of the way that uh, 1 through 11 have been playing. Everybody's coming to practice uh, with a chip on their shoulder and came into every game uh, focused and locked in and know that we have some steps to take to get better, uh, but taking every opportunity to, to do that. You talk about the steps that you need to take to get better. I'm sure that you learned a lot in that one loss. I don't, don't mean to bring it up, but the one loss to Notre Dame, always those growing moments. What did you learn there? Uh, we learned that we have a lot to, to get through, uh, to figure out with our experience. We have to find out who our captains are and who our, who our leaders are um, on the court in those moments where coach, you know, we, she can't hear us or we can't hear her. Um, we're really just trying to focus in on the little things. Even in our wins, we learned a lot about ourselves, uh, what quarters we need to come out stronger in and making sure that we can make adjustments uh, when teams make adjustments on us. So just the little things I feel like we're trying to pick up that a lot of us may not know because, I mean, they're coming in this is their first year or so many of us haven't been in the position to play as many minutes that we have so really picking up on the little things um, how each other plays and how to make adjustments uh, when teams make adjustments for us you talk about that leadership and not playing as many minutes last year you know some people may forget that you were voted sixth player of the year by the coaches now you're a starter so a completely different role for you how has your approach then changed to games this year uh, I know that last year a lot of people thought of me as a spark off the bench and that energy that kicked our a team into a different gear. And I think that I still um, I'm, I'm still trying to bring that energy uh, to the starting group. Uh, I think that having uh, a great start to a game can boost your momentum and keep you going throughout the entire game. So really trying to bring that energy from the start of the game. Uh, sometimes it's hard to go five or ten minutes and there's not a spark or there's not an energy boost. So bringing that from the tip uh, because we want to just step on team's throat from the beginning to be completely honest with you and, and not wait until the fourth quarter. We just want to press on the gas from the beginning of the game. All right, so you said that you want to step on teams' throats in the beginning. So against <laughs> Syracuse, you said it, your words, not <laughs> mine. How do you do that then against Syracuse? I think just bringing our energy uh, from the tip, like uh, I just explained, and especially on defense, I think that our defense really fuels our offense um, and, and makes us go. So just trying to do that from the tip and not let up uh, throughout, as the game goes on because I think, like I said, I think that a strong uh, beginning of the game really boosts your confidence through the rest of the game. We talk about this start that your team is off to. You guys are back in the AP Top 25 poll. What is this team's biggest strength? Oh, wow. Our biggest strength. I think that we are very long. Um, so I think that that uh, causes disruption for teams. Uh, but I think one of our other strengths that, you know, people may not uh, look at or notice is that I think that we're very unselfish and so many people can score in so many different ways and we spread the ball around a lot. I feel like we're taking a, about the same amount of shots um, as each other and I think that that's very hard to guard. So um, really being able to score on all levels and that uh, one through 11 can come in the game and, and be effective in that way. When we talk about your strengths specifically, you know, we can talk about your offense leading this team in scoring, not just last year, but also this year as well, but your defense. We don't talk about that a lot and I know you take great Pride in that, especially this year. Talk about the changes you've made in leadership and how you're mo more vocal on that end of the court. Yeah, um, I definitely try to be as vocal as I can. I mean, I really don't want my point guards or guards getting hit by any screens. So just talking in that way, but also making sure my teammates know what defense we are in and just communicating throughout the game. Like I said, those adjustments that teams make, being able to pick up on that um, on the defensive end so I can stop their, their next move and trying to get ahead of it uh, before they can even get to their next, uh, their next option. So really just trying to talk to my teammates and knowing uh, what defense we're in or who they have and just really trying to lock in because, I mean, we all know that you can score points, but if you're not stopping uh, the other team on the other end, it'll be a tough game. And we all know that when it comes to conference play, that level of play just gets taken up a notch. Now that you have a year under your belt, as you know what it's like to go from non-conference to conference play, what is the key to getting off to a good start? 
Uh, I think that being confident in each other is what it's going to take us to the next level as we get to conference play. Uh, knowing that it takes a team to win every one of these games, I think that we're in a great conference and we have a our our whole conference is very strong. Uh, so knowing that you know we can't do it with one or two people and everybody has to be on board and locked in and really taking pride in our defense. Uh, we have uh, other teams have great defensive weapons and we have to be able to stop them. You said that one of the strengths of this team is that you're unselfish. And also, when I talked to you preseason, you said that all of you are putting that extra time in the gym. If you had to describe this team, it's like you guys are gym rats. How is that now benefiting you? Uh, I just think that it's one of those things that helps our highs and our lows, uh, knowing that if someone had a, a, you know, not a game that was of their caliber, they're going to get in the gym and not be too hard on themselves. But at the same time, if they had an amazing game, they're still getting into the gym because they want to get better. They want to take that ne ne next step. So I think that being in the gym and, and pulling each other in the gym, even just to get some extra shots up, um, is going to really help us in the long run because we know that you know, our confidence is one of the, the biggest things that we have in this game. It's so important uh, to how you play every day, uh, but making sure that in those highs and those lows, we're still getting in the gym, building that confidence, um, and trying to take uh, and do anything that we can to get to the next level for our team. You also told me before the season started that something that you wanted to work on this year, something that you learned from your freshman year, is you want to live in the present. So how do you think you're doing in living in the moment? Uh... I'm, I'm working on that still, I would say. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a lot of times uh, after a win or, or a loss, um, I'm still thinking about that game, that last game. What can I do better? What could I have done differently? Um, but I think I'm still taking that and bringing that into the present and enjoying it. And sometimes I do sit back and I'm just so thankful of, you know, how dedicated my teammates are and all the people that are around me. So sometimes I live in the past and try to bring it into the, to the present. But I'm definitely trying to take it game by game and, you know, not take any opponent for granted and not taking any opportunity for granted, but sometimes I do live in the past a little bit, trying to figure out what I could have done better in, in a winning or a loss. Hey, it comes with experience. We're still only a sophomore, which we forget. And, and last right. thing I do want to ask in regards to that is you're coming off that freshman year, a successful one at that, but what is different now in your sophomore year when you look back at how freshman year started to now sophomore year? Uh, yeah, I definitely do think it's a lot different. A lot of people are game planning for me differently. Uh, last year, having you know Hallie Thom and Munger, uh, there was I didn't experience as, as many uh, double teams as I do now. So a lot of teams are double teaming me, triple teaming, really packing in the paint. So I'm having to figure out you know how I can get my teammates the ball or how I can score in different areas uh, because I do have two or three defenders around me, uh, which is definitely making me better. And I'm working on it every day uh, with my teammates and my coaches. But I think, uh, you know, people know who I am now and are game planning for me a lot different than last year. Nas Hillman, always getting better. And as always, thank you so much for the time, Nas. Thank you.